Hi, I'm Elise Fletcher and I live in Bangkok where I work with Urban Neighbours of Hope in the Klong Thoi slum community. My link with St Andrews and All Saints in Malvern is through Alice and Dave Bruce and we are mission partners um, and enjoy visiting when we're back in the UK. It's a Monday morning here and I think wherever we are in the world, Monday mornings probably hold some of the same challenges. Today has been the usual struggle to get three children out of the door by 7.15. We were yelling at each other, the neighbours were yelling at each other. It was not a good start to the week. Then to top things off, um, it started to rain just as we were getting on the motorbikes. In Thailand, we don't usually get rain showers. It's generally 100% raining or 100% sunny. So it was a surprise to see the sun come out about five minutes later. As we drove over the expressway on the way to school, I looked back over the rooftops of the slum and saw that there was a full rainbow. And my heart was flooded with hope for my community and also for my family who had started the week so badly. You see, God reminded me through the rainbow that it, he is not phased by our brokenness. He's not phased by our mess ups. Where brokenness is visible, God's hope is especially real. He is a restoring God and our brokenness and the brokenness of our communities is his raw material. We are ripe for transformation. Brokenness is everywhere, but some of us mask it better than others. In this community, there is not the time, the privacy or the resources to stage a cover up of poverty. The poverty in our hearts also becomes visible and that's been the journey of our last six years. I truly believe that encountering our brokenness is the doorway to healing. To grasp the hope of Jesus requires a downward journey. We can't avoid the depths of human pain and suffering. My experiences with my neighbors in the slum have led me to learn more about the debilitating, the debilitating effects of trauma on the human brain it's horrifically sad. But God's design is amazing. The most recent research shows that brain changes are all reversible. We can rewire and we can make new neural connections based on new patterns of thinking and experiencing. There's so much hope in the fact that we are made with the capacity for renewal. Healing is made from the same pieces as our pain. No extra material is required. When the pieces are laid out bare, it's an invitation for God to work. The rainbow over the slum rooftops reminded me that God has a vision for my neighbourhood and all the pieces are ready. It is enough. If hope feels distant or removed today, can I encourage you to lay out your broken pieces and invite God to create something starting there. Thank you. Thank you.